In 2006, Charles Roderick was arrested and charged with the offense of defilement of a female under the age of 13. The matter, which finally came up for trial at the St. George's No. 1 High Court before Madam Justice Paula Guilford on June 12th, after an 18-year delay, concluded last week Friday with a nine-member jury delivering a verdict of guilty. Attorney Anslem Clowden, who represented the now 51-year-old Roderick in court, briefly explained the circumstances surrounding his client's conviction in the matter brought against him by the victim, who is now an adult residing in Canada. It was set up during the construction of a house for the complainant's aunt. He had intercourse with her when she was alone. We argued on certain principles and the like. And then we turned the vote of guilty. The doctor's well, evidence right. was that he couldn't see <laughs> that there was recent sexual intercourse uh, that may have constituted some measure of cooperation. The now convicted man who has been on bail pending the outcome of his trial has been remanded to the Richmond Hill Prison until sentencing, which is carded for September 21st. Attorney Clowden has hinted at an appeal taking issue with the length of time that it took to commence the trial. Now, that delay has caused great prejudice to the case in the context that witnesses' memory would have and um, you can't quite remember events as accurate as you would if it was tried more recently. Um, the Privy Council was quite clear on that. Um, they said 12 years is excessive, um, and Bell said two years is excessive. The Canadian um, ASCO says two years is excessive to have a man awaiting trial. Clowden says the Grenada Constitution provides that anyone charged with a criminal offense should be afforded a fair trial within a reasonable time by an independent and impartial court established by law. So delay is in fact an aspect of constitutional abrogation. Uh, rights to a fair trial. And this is what the Privy Council has said. During the trial, Clowden attempted to make an application before the court in this regard. However, it was not entertained by the female High Court judge who felt that there was enough time for him to do so in the past. For GBN News, I'm Nisha Paul.